Some days ago, um, the governor of Lagos State announced that he has been paying 70,000 naira as minimum wage. He's increased his own minimum wage from uh, maybe 35 or 40,000 naira to 70,000 naira. And so we're having um, um, his Edo State counterpart who will be leaving office in a few months' time increase uh, minimum wage to 70,000 naira. I mean, that is coming before um, the, you know, the expected increase that the um, labor markets, I mean, the new labor union are working at. And I I fault it in the sense that we just have leaders who are just wicked, who are just intentionally wicked. Yes, who are just intentionally wicked and just, um, feel that they can do what they like with the people. This one is leaving office in um, in a few months' time and is increasing minimum wage and I'm wondering um, what for at this time. And does it mean that that money had always been there? And why now? Why is it now that you are about leaving office that you're increasing minimum wage? And you see, it's just a heart of wickedness that is being you know, portrayed by our leaders an uh, act of wickedness. I saw that video by Sheikuti, um, she um, where he asked, you know, when it was, I mean, that video was actually in uh, a, a response to Yaya Bello's issues. And he began to wonder if one person can steal 80 billion. Uh, I mean, the question now is, is he stealing because he needs the money or is he stealing because he hates the people? Apparently, the answer is that he hates the people. That's why he's stealing that kind of money. Because when you do the permutation and you break down what everybody would have uh, to spend in, in 200 years or 230 years in advance, you will discover that there is still more for everybody you know, to spend. And so um, at the end of the day, you find out that we just have leaders who are just nonchalant about the welfare of the people. And this one that is increasing minimum wage now is actually increasing because of his own, uh, for his own selfish reasons anyway, because pol politics, um, elections are around the corner. And so he, he wants the people on his side. Remember that he just threw at his deputy. His deputy was just, has just been impeached and all of that. You know the feud that's, that has been between them all the while and so he's probably thinking that look people might want to get back at him and this is one way to buy the people you know with their own right and so what now happens after the election they have the election and after that time they change it back to the normal and all of that and then who questions them let's know what your opinions are this is just serious matters that we just think about and then we're just wondering why is this just an act of wickedness or the people or the leaders are just what they are. This is serious matters.